Mark and Ted had been best buddies all during high school. It had been years since their high school graduation and they continued their fond friendship. They considered themselves to be smooth operators and as such, able to understand what motivated and what might threaten one another. Each could see into the other's soul. Ted had been dating Linda for about five months. Ted and Linda found each other fascinating. They loved being together and they loved entertaining each other. Ted was obsessed with her. She sure is foxy and beautiful, Ted remarked to Mark. Yep, she sure is. Mark responded. No argument there. Mark and his wife, Jessica, went out often for a night of drinks and dancing with Linda and Ted. They quickly, as a foursome, became great friends. One evening, Linda and Ted made a surprise. Announcement. We have decided to get married, Ted said to Jessica and Mark. Congratulations. Mark pronounced. Why, that's great news Jessica boomed. I'm very happy. For you both. We made that decision and have been very happy. Ever since. Mark displayed a very slight grimace. Have you set a date? Mark asked. No, not as yet, Ted replied. But it will not be far off, Linda intervened. Maybe three. Or four weeks. Very small ceremony. You will be invited, of course. There were numerous last-minute wedding plans, all of which were ironed out easily. Things fell into place with ease. The justice of the peace was agreeable to their chosen date. Things calmed down considerably. Mark and Ted decided to plan a week together driving along the southeast coast. It would serve as an unusual sort of bachelor party. Just the two of them. Money being tied on both ends, they split the expenses and stayed at fleabag motels. The rooms we simple, one-bed units. Along the highway. It was to be a farewell to the traditional relationship that they had shared. It was great. They would return a few days prior to the wedding date. There were occasional beach stops, cheap mom and pop. Eateries and beers in the evenings while watching the baseball. Games. How did you meet Linda? Mark asked one night during the fifth inning. She was working in the entertainment industry, Ted said. With hesitance. I know that. But what did she actually do? How did you meet her? Mark pressed. Strip club. She is a pole dancer. A very good pole dancer. Ted admitted. What? Aren't you concerned with that? Mark asked. No, Linda and I are committed to each other. She has. Not been out there playing the big field, Ted responded, with. Confidence. Mark left the room to make his nightly telephone call. He was back by the seventh inning stretch. Mark always admired everything about Ted. He was strong. And athletic. Slim and trim, honest, true and blue. Ted was his best buddy. Mark insisted they stop at a beach on their last day. The water and waves helped to relax him. Mark and Ted frolicked in the waves for an hour. They sat on the beach and drank a beer. The waves had tired them both while at the same time had invigorated them. The beer helped them to relax and soothe their bodies. Mark couldn't bring himself to ruin the moment. No, he couldn't. Wouldn't. But there was one planned discussion yet to come. It. Would have to wait. Meanwhile, Jessica was awaiting their return. She had not heard from Mark all week. She could have called him. But didn't want to interrupt their guy time. Upon entering Virginia, they saw the road sign that indicated that Virginia Beach was not too far ahead. Mark had served in the military, the Navy, in fact. He was familiar with the hot spots of town. How about we get some roast beef sandwiches at Arby's? He asked. 
Sure, let's do it. I'm game for anything. Ted replied. The sandwiches were great as usual. Inexpensive and great. Ted, I have a bachelor party surprise for you. I know this town, and I want us to stop at a place to relax before getting back to the mayhem. I'm not even going to ask you. My treat. Okay, Mark. I'm a go. They pulled into the parking lot of stores. The game store faced them. Ted was confused. But he did like games. They walked past the game store to the massage parlor. Mark opened the door and invited Ted to enter. They entered the very next session almost immediately. Inside, the double lounge, they were told to disrobe and a bathtub was prepared for each of them. Each had a personal attendant that worked together to make for an enjoyable experience. Synergy The attendant checked the water temperature. Each was helped into their deeply filled tub. They were left there for 20 minutes. The attendants helped them out of their tubs, dried them, and led them to the massage tables. They climbed on and were wrapped in a fresh warmed bath sheet. The massage commenced within 10 minutes. Heaven. Yep, it sure was. Each of them loved it. What a great wrap up to their week. However, Mark was still tense. It was time for him to deal with the issue. One can run, but cannot hide. Mark grew increasing distant as they approached the Maryland state line. The road sign read Welcome to Maryland. Please drive gently. They would be home within the hour. I'm having an affair with your fiancé? For three months. Now? Mark blurted out. What? Ted yelled. His jaw hit the floor. Ted was trying to comprehend the gravity of this statement. Ted was quietly deep in thought. If the wedding would still occur, he would be sharing his wife with Mark. I will cancel the wedding. Ted yelled angrily. You can have her. I don't want her, Mark snapped. I don't want the one I have. Mark continued with rage. Both were in different boats. Mark was working toward the same end for each of them. Long-term committed friendship. Unconditional loyalty. The next summer rolled around. Ted never had Linda. Mark had lost Jessica. She did not take the disclosure very well. Mark and Ted frolicked in the waves for an hour and then retreated to the sand for a cold beer. Relaxation and soothing of their souls. Mark had achieved his goal. Everything would stay as it always was. Everything would stay as it was meant to be. Mark and Ted, watching the baseball game or sitting on the sand, drinking a beer. The game of life. Life was good. 